Hey everyone, I'm Lawrence, and in this video I'm going to talk about the Earthworld Gym ports on the GBA. Earthworld Gym 1 and 2 are ports of the Sega Genesis games. They are super humorous games and over the top. You'll fall in love with the games, but not on the GBA. And I'll explain that later. First off, the games themselves. There is no story while playing the first game, but you get a story if you read the manual that comes with the game. The games are amazing. On the Sega Genesis, not on the GBA. For the sprites, for the hidden details inside the gameplay, for the most part, the game is a platformer. You have a blaster for which you can find bigger blasts in the level, Jim can use his body as a whip and he can helicopter, there are rocket racing sections in between locales, each place you visit has unique animations and quirks, it's not just a different background. The differences are not only visual, every level has some awesome details. The game also has some tough gameplay moments, just like retro games used to have. But unfortunately, this is not that great of a port. The animations are choppy, the frame rate has hiccups, and the controls aren't as snappy as on the original Genesis console. Also, since the screen is much smaller on the GBA, you don't see as much of the map as on the Genesis, which becomes annoying when you platform around. The devs rearranged some parts on the maps, but still, it's frustrating sometimes to platform around. That is for the first game, because the port of the second game is an atrocity. Not only that it looks awful, but the gameplay has been butchered. There are times when the game runs faster and times when the game runs slower, and the sprints and slowdowns are unexpected. You never know when the game is going to run faster or slower, which is terrible in a retro game, because the gameplay was tougher back then. Having an additional and annoying obstacle as a difficulty is not welcomed. Also due to the ugly visuals, it is oftentimes difficult to navigate the maps. The sound is also awful, so if the port for the first game has been underwhelming, the port for the second game is a big no. Don't waste your time playing this atrocity. So my recommendation is to get your hands on the Sega Genesis version, to see what masterpieces Earthward Gym 1 and 2 are. But do yourself a favor and avoid the GBA ports. They are terrible.